place and invite a fat house cat to join this tournament. I, I can assure you that the question about Garfield being a cat is going to come up a lot. Like, all the time. <laughs> Do not go, Garfield! It is trap! Said John Arbuckle with warning. Are we positive that this thing was not written by the same guy who wrote, uh, uh, what the fuck, honestly, were those ones that you and I were reading, those really shitty ones, those, uh, like, John, half-life ones with... Uh, uh, I, I, I'm brother. not sure, but... It, this has the same kind of god-awful, god-awful grammar as says. <laughs> I know, but I will go. No one questions my manliness and lives, <laughs> said Garfield with fist pumped with martial... Mar uh, sorry, mar <laughs> sorry, marital arts. <laughs> is what that so, says. Wait, 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 wait. So does that mean then that John? I mean, does that mean then that Garfield just like fists like anybody he wants to marry? Marital arts. Uh, I, uh -huh. Garfield then departed for tournaments with travels. As he left, John. <laughs> with travels. As he left, John Arbuckle wished him luck. Good luck, Garfield. Remember your training. You must defeat M. Bison for love of justice," said John Arbuckle with waving hand. He's a house cat. <laughs> We he he basically is me if I was a fucking cat. <laughs> we we know. Okay. I do not need luck. I have iron fist of raging justice," said Garfield, beaming with fighting spirit. Oh my god! <laughs> iron fist of raging Jesus. Fuck. Garfield then began his journey of endless combat to defeat M. Bison. On his journeys, Garfield went to Brazil, where Brazilian people were. No! no! You, don't, you don't say! In a town, he saw Blanca, the green master of electric. It's electric. <laughs> it's electric. I am Blanca. I will become the world warrior, said Blanca to Garfield. No, you are manly, but I am manlier. Prepare for Kung Fu Beatdown, said Garfield with eyes of tiger. Rising up. <laughs> and back I, the street. I took my time and ate lasagna. No, <laughs> <laughs> After the words were spoken, Garfield and Blanca fought with fury, exchanging blows and special attacks. Blanca used his Blanca rolls, but they were they deflected off of Garfield's muscles. He doesn't have muscles. Blanca then used his electricity to zap Garfield, but it had no effect. I am cat. Electricity has no effect on me. That makes no sense. Said Garfield with truth. <laughs> with truth. Garfield then used power punch on Blanca, knocking him out. Blanca then got up to congratulate Garfield on his win. Garfield, you are too much man for me, you are mighty warrior, said Blanca with smile. You are strong, but I am stronger. Farewell, Mr. Blanca, said Garfield with warrior pride. Garfield then continued his travels back to the to USA of America. Wait. <laughs> Where he met the Guile. The Guile. The American <laughs> Patriot. The Guile. The Guile. The Guile. The Guile. American patriot with the oddly fucking European accent. Garfield, you are a true American hero! I salute you! Said Guile with respect. I didn't know that Guile was a hillbilly. He is now. <laughs> you are you are American warrior. We must fight for justice. Said Garfield with manly tear in one eye. <laughs> Garfield! Oh. Garfield and Guile then began, then began manly fighting. Guile sent many sonic boons to hit Garfield with many flash kicks, but Garfield preserved with fighting spirit. Your attacks are strong, but now I will show you true American pride, said Garfield as he readied attacks. Garfield wrapped his fists with American flags and punched Guile with furious patriotism, <laughs> causing 4th of July explosions, sending, Gar sending Guile flying with defeats. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. I believe, I believe I have this figured out. Republicans think that Garfield is the ultimate mascot and that Guile represents, represents, let's see here, Benghazi, the VA, and uh, Obamacare. 
and this scene kind of shows what they would like to do. Wrap themselves in flames. Garfield, you're a true American. You fight with eagle strength, said Guile, <laughs> as he grasped Garfield's hand with manly handshake. I swear to God, we seriously should have to take a drink every time the word manly gets said. <laughs> Farewell, we would be fucking Farewell American friend. I will defeat M. Bison in your name, said Garfield with friendship. Garfield then continued his travels of combat when he encountered Chun Li, Sakura, Kami, and Rose fighting each other. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, you did. Oh, oh no, no. You don't. I've read these stories before. I smell a four way. I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you ladies doing? Asked Gar Garfield with questions. <laughs> we are fighting to see who is the strongest, said Chun Li with fighting. <laughs> this is not how ladies should act. Let me show you how to be <laughs> ladies. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I just read a hug. <laughs> said Garfield as he took the ladies back to a five-star hotel room with champagne and hot tub. After whining and dining, the ladies began taking their clothes off and rubbing oil on Garfield and each other while giggling. I would like to mention I was joking when I said I smell, I smell a four-way. I think you ladies really should have sex with <laughs> each other, said Garfield with a wink. With Garfield's suggestion, they had sex with each other for many hours as Garfield watched with nodding approving while drinking champagne. Sakura very much enjoyed the more experienced ladies pleasuring her body, as did Garfield. As he jumped into the pleasure party. House cat. <laughs> Fat. House cat. <laughs> she suddenly wrapped her strong thighs around Garfield, squeezing him with pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> asked a question. Yeah. Did he oil them up with lasagna? Uh, it, it didn't say that. But who... It really didn't specify. <laughs> well, you know what? It might as well. <laughs> Make me feel like a woman, screamed Chun Li. <laughs> as God... Oh my God! <laughs> as... <laughs> as Garfield gave her lovings while squeezing her breasts. Rose and Cammy then began rubbing Garfield's body all over with their thighs and breasts, making pleasure for all. I would just like to say this right now. Reading this, I have the horrible, horrible image of Garfield and Chun-Li fucking, and it is the most terrifying goddamn image that's ever popped into my head. God damn it, I almost fucking, I almost spit up my drink. <laughs> Garfield, you are the first You are the first time I have encountered a real man. I was a girl before, now make me into a woman, said Sakura with eyes of lust for Garfield. 
I guess Ryu's is not man enough anymore, right? <laughs> Do not worry, I am real man, so I will make you into real woman. Yes. Said, said Garfield as he pleasured with wild cat force. They just didn't lie. <laughs> Garfield, you are love beast. I do not know if you are greater lover or fighter, screamed Sakura with lusty joy. Garfield made love to all the ladies all night long, sending them into the land of fleshy pleasures. <laughs> the, next, the next morning, Garfield got up to continue his fighting quest. So, folks, for everyone out there who are big fans of street, a fucking, you know, street fighter, um... We have just shown that four of the four of the biggest female characters in the game all all think that a house cat is the sexiest goddamn thing on the planet and fucked it all night. I know. Garfield and the house cat is still alive. Garfield, can you not stay for more lovings? asked Rose with wishing. No, babe, I must go on to fight and defeat M. Bison for good of all, said Garfield with fist. Pumping pride. There it is again, you know, dude. He is just fucking, you know, like, really in the mood to fist everything. <laughs> Thank you, Garfield, for showing us what it is like to oh, be real. Sakura, Sakura bend <laughs> over, sad. <laughs> to be, oh, Garfield. shut the fuck up. To be. <laughs> With fist pumping pride. <laughs> to be real women, said Chun Li as she waved goodbye to Garfield. Garfield then left to continue his battle journey across, er across Earth. Next, he traveled to Japan. Where you saw Ryu and Ken fighting each other. What are you gonna fuck them too? They were. They were locked in heat of battle when they saw Garfield approaching. It is mighty Garfield," said Ryu with battle cry. What? Yes, Ryu. We are rivals, but perhaps we should join forces to fight Garfield, for he has greater combat force said Ken with advice. House cat? Yes, oh. I will take take you both on. Launch your attacks on me, said Garfield. Garfield, you are not a kuma. Said Garfield with challenge. Very well, prepare for raging kung fu battle, cried out Ryu as he and Ken launched into combat. Oh, <laughs> Ryu and Ken did double hurricane kicks on Garfield, but he blocked them with ease. They even launched shoryukens at Garfield, but it was not—it was to no effect. Why? You, will, <laughs> you will have to do better than that to to dent my furs," said Garfield with confidence. Ryu and, Ryu and Ken began charging their kai to perform a double fireball on Garfield. Hadouken! cried Ryu and Ken as they shot their double fireball and Gar and Garfield. Period. The fireball exploded on Garfield, leaving nothing, making Ryu and Ken think they won victories. <laughs> More than one, of course. We did it! We beat Garfield! cried out Ryu and Ken at the same time. However, they then looked up and saw Garfield heading toward them with eyes filled with tigers. That is that is what that sentence says. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it fucking does. It really does. <laughs> Me to your punch! cried out Garfield as he slammed into them, knocking them into defeat and making a crater. Garfield, you are much. You are the better warrior. We are defeated," said Ryu and Ken. Now, I, I, I really have to ask. This actually... author, now this author does understand that Garfield and Goku are not the same character, right? <laughs> no, right. I just sort of want to make sure of that. I don't know. The first time we read one of these stories, I was, I was trying to picture that maybe it wasn't the cat Garfield, but the president Garfield, which made it a little funnier for some reason. It kind of does. <laughs> Keep training and eat lasagna, and you can be strong like me," said Garfield as he left to continue traveling. Garfield traveled to Thailand. He finally found M. Bison planning evil schemes. Ha ha, Garfield! I will defeat you and rule this world," shouted M. Bison with evil laugh. Now we fight M. Bison. Time to meet martial arts doom. Shh! Cried out Garfield with battling justice. <laughs> 
just to fucking do. Not so fast, Garfield. First, you must face Psycho Power Sagat, said M. Bison. On his word, Sagat controlled with Psycho Power entered the room to fight Garfield. I am Psycho Power Sagat <laughs> with the s s Psycho Power. I will avenge my scar, <laughs> cried out Psycho Powered Sagat. You, you will avenge your scar for you put that scar there. You are gone to evil, you dog, said Garfield with sad sigh. Garfield was rearing for fight when he heard a familiar voice. Amaku! It was John Arbuckle zooming in at Sagat with his raging Arbuckle attack. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> raging Arbuckle attack? <laughs> The attack left Sagat dead on the floor. <laughs> and the Arbuckle symbol glowing on John Arbuckle's back. <laughs> what? This is just raging fucking demon. Arbuckle symbol? <laughs> John Arbuckle just did the fucking raging demon. <laughs> Thank you, John Arbuckle. Your fighting style is strong with fists said Garfield with admiration. No problem, Garfield. I never liked Sagat anyway, said Art John Arbuckle with thumbs up. M. Bison, it is time to meet the way of fist, said Garfield, lunging at M. Bison. Very well, face my psycho power! Wait, 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 though. But we have already seen what happens when somebody comes at him with psycho power. John fucking kills them in one fucking hit because John is apparently the most fucking, you know, like, OP asshole on the planet. Cried out M. Bison with wicked cry of evil. M. Bison and Garfield exchanged angry blows of fighting justice, tearing each other's livers. What the fuck does that even mean? M. Bison trapped Garfield with his psycho crusher, justice. holding him with his psycho power. You are trapped by my psycho power. Now I will possess you and use you as my new body," shouted M. Bison oh, with shit. evil, with evil psycho darkness. What the fuck are you on? <laughs> I am not thinking," said, <laughs> said Garfield I'm with sly sorry. courage as he readied his ultimate attack. Sure you can. Garfield then launched his two-fisted sure you can right through M. Bison, tearing M. Bison into twos. No! cried M. Bison as he was beaten. As Garfield returned to the ground from his awesome attack, he saw a figure approaching. It was Akuma! Garfield, I see you killed M. Bison with super ease. You are mighty warrior, said Akuma, high fiving Garfield. <laughs> Which is just the oddest picture in my mind. The author's fucking note is the sh dumbest thing I've ever read, but anyway, that's coming up. Yes, it looked like we will be having M. Bison meat, although I prefer las- You're gonna eat him? Lasagna, said Garfield with hilarious joke. Ha ha! Ha ha! Uh, no. Ha 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 ha! Laughed Akuma and John Arbuckle and Garfield at witty jokes. As they laughed, they left, they left to train to become stronger and unlock great fighting power. The end. Author's note. If Capcom is reading this, would you please add Garfield to the next Street Fighter game? Thank you. Frankly, it wouldn't be any worse than, than any of the other additions to Street to Street Fighter, but still. Again, I need to stress this. House cat. Fat. Lazy. House cat. There, there, are, there are more. 